hello everyone welcome to our channel once again please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and also leave a comment to express your thoughts on this two strong governors are reportedly set to dump the presidential candidate of the people's democratic party atiku abubakar just a few days before the february 25th election the two governors are different from the g5 governors who have already declared they are not working for atiku's ambition except the pdp national chairman yocha ayo resigns and is replaced by a southerner this development was made known by the national chairman of the new Nigeria People's Party, Professor Rufai Ahmed Akali, while addressing newsmen in Abuja on Tuesday, January 31st. Akali made the revelation while reacting to Atiku's claim that he was in talks with the NNPP presidential candidate, Rabiu Kwankwasu, for support during the forthcoming election. The NNPP chairman told Atiku to put his house in order and stop dreaming that Kwankwasu would step down for him. Categorically, Akali stated that Kwankwaso was not in any discussion for an alliance with Atiku. Five governors are not with Atiku. These governors are coming from powerful states. The two others have been sending messages that they will not support Atiku. We thought that anyone contesting an election should put his house in order. We left the PDP because we knew it would implode. It is not the same party as yesterday. In the next one week, some will leave the PDP, Akali said. Well, 2022 general election is an election to watch out for. There is going to be a shocker in this 2023 election. The unexpected is going to happen in this 2023 election. First, the, the, when I mean the unexpected, the people who you think that they can't really make meaningful impact in this general election will end up surprising so many people you know and uh, people who you think they're going to win this election may end up not getting close to it so when i say they're going to be there 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 is a uh, suspense so there's going to be so many suspense in this election and they're going to be a shocker now the three major political parties that are forefront for frontliners the apc pdp and the labor party and uh, the conquers who the ANPP, the NNPP, who happen to be the fourth, you know, uh, major political party presently. Uh, if all the presidential candidates have their chances, because if they don't have their chances, they won't be there. But among the 18 presidential candidates, four is being singled out for possible, possibly winning the election. That is uh, APC presidential candidate Volame Tunubu. Then uh, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, LP, uh, Peter Obi, and ANPP, who happened to be Alaji Kwankwazo, Musa Kwankwazo. Now, the, the, there are talks within the political parties to, to bring in, to merge up, to strengthen their, 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 their voters' base. Uh, and there's been a rumor that. Uh, the PDP is talking with uh, Kwan Kwazo to see if he can uh, drop his presidential ambition and back Atiku Abubakar. But the chieftain of the NNPP has come out to debunk that uh, uh, information and say no, that Kwan Kwazo is not going to bow down for anybody and is not going to, to not even to Atiku Abubakar. You know, uh, politics is a game of number. And when you see what happened during the PDP primary, when Tamboa, you know, you know uh, stepped down for Atiku Abubakar. And that was one of the reasons that, one of the main things that helped Atiku Abubakar to win the presidential primary from the PDP. And uh, at, uh, what's his name? Yes, Wiki was against that stepping down, but uh, it does happen when it comes to in a, a, a pressure primary in the APC2 about eight or nine pressure uh, aspirants stepped down for Bola Ahmed Tunubu to emerge as a president you know fly presidential fly bearer so so but the the crisis the the surprise now is uh, the shocking now a part of it is uh, it, it has been reviewed that two governors of the PDP are set to dump the the party presidential candidate just days before the 2025 uh, three presidential election. 
and uh, this three two uh, uh, governors has not been has not come out openly to declare if their support for any other candidate or they've not told declared to nigerians that they're going to you know uh, dump they're not going to support atiku abubakar as it is right now their name is unknown but based on the information given by the chieftain of uh, NNPP, uh, NNPP, he said two presidential candidates, governors, strong governors from the north, are, are, are set to, to, you know, they are planning to, they are set to dump, you know, Atiku Abubakar, probably to support, you know, Rabiu Kwankwazo for his uh, presidential race. So, as it is right now, this is a rumor. Uh, he has not been proven. We've not seen, they've not declared and uh, the chieftain did not give name for did not give name of this you know strong governors from the north who are going to who are set uh, planning to dump the uh, the PDP presidential candidate you know and uh, so we, ca we can't mention name because those names have not been revealed but if this happen if this happen I, it's going to be a big blow to Atiku Abubakar who has already lost five governors out of the the governors of the his, his own political party you know they they use a wicked the j5 I, I, they, they've not really they've not they still haven't reconciled the problem that uh, uh, they are having with it with the national chairman you know the resigning from their for this position and let somebody from the south take over from him like they say it's a trouble be like okay yeah so so article abubakar now and his camp, uh, they are in a bit confusion in, in, in asking question: Who is this governor who are set to dump us? Who are set to disappoint us? I want to believe by now, Atiku Abubakar might be putting call through to the, the governors from the north to find out which one that want to betray him, just like the way Judah betrayed Jesus Christ at the threat allied, uh, allied of his. Uh, uh you know crucifixion you know uh he didn't know jesus as a god knew what was going to happen but other disciples never knew that somebody amongst them who eats drink with them will go as far as uh, betraying the master with a kiss and this is exactly what is about to play out in the pdp camp two governors set to dump the uh the, to dump uh, Atiku Abubakar, I see that as a betrayer. I will say two governors said to betray Atiku presidency. You know, that is the way I see it. But, you know, this is what it is, it's politics. I will know that politics is, is, a, is a game of interest. Everyone who is in there is there for what they stand to gain. Nobody is there for the, for, for the uh, because they love Nigeria, because they love their party. Everybody is there is is there for what they stand to gain that is just it is there for what they stand to gain and what is in for them so what is what is in for them is not clear you see them switch carpets as quick as possible you know that is exactly what it is you know like for instance if uh before now if you saw said fanica they will, will cross carpet to, to apc i will say it's a lie but we see this thing happening you know, uh, eminent politicians crossing carpet, governors crossing carpet, and all that. So it's not a new thing in our system or politics in this part of the world, especially in Nigeria. So uh, now where belief is, that is the game. Where belief is, you know, everybody is fighting for is is uh, is daily meal. So however it comes, that is justice. Well, this is just my take, I, uh, my thought concerning this. I want you to feel free to comment below. Let us know what you think. And also subscribe to our channel for updates on this and more. Thank you.